Hello everybody, it is me, Clyde here. Welcome to the channel, um, to a new law series that I'll be working on, alright? So, this is a Fallout law series. It's something that I'll do in my free time, just for fun, obviously. But, yeah. Um, in terms of that, let's get into this first episode. This episode being about the American military in the Fallout universe, alright? And how it diverges from our own military in our own universe, alright? So, where our universes di diverge in Fallout and with our universe is at the 50s mark. Um, in the Fallout universe, the culture and the sleekness of the 50s never leaves the eyes of any community, alright? No country, alright? So, with that in mind, okay, in the 50s, in my, in my opinion, and you can feel, you can feel free to correct me, right? There was a heavy, uh, need or love of infantry soldiers and keeping them safe and whatnot, alright? Whereas in today's society, as of now, um, the military is well balanced, okay? So the Fallout universe, let's just get right to the chase here, or cut right to chase. Um, they focus more on the infantry and their, and their land-based armor, okay? They have APCs, alright? And I'm counting power armor as a land-based armor, because it is, and by land-based armor, I mean stuff like tanks, APCs, and whatnot, okay? In the, Fall in the Fallout universe, okay, tanks and APCs didn't really go much further um, than they did after... after well, after World War Two, okay. Um, in the Fallout universe, none of the none of the tech, aside from the power armor and the and the and the guns and the rockets, all right, were pro progressed. Okay, so like with um, any bombers or fighter planes, like the Hurricane or or whatnot, there weren't that many modifications. They didn't focus on their on their airborne. Um, well, they didn't focus on their What's the word for it? The Air Force, okay? They, they, they didn't focus on the Air Force, which is rather interesting, okay? But I can see it. Um, honestly, it's a rather smart way to work up why they couldn't shoot down nukes that were being launched or whatnot. So, yeah. Honestly, the, the creators of Fallout who did this were fantastic in doing so, and I'm really proud that, they, that I can call this um, this series um, something that I am happy to be a part of. Um, but anyway, let's back on topic, okay? So... Power armor was their major, um, their major boon, okay? They focused on the infantry. They had to protect the, their infantry. In this university, they more of, well, not, 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 okay, so obviously not, not the Chinese. They focused on stealth tech, because they didn't, okay, whereas with the, uh, um, with the um, United States, all right, they focused more on keeping their infantry alive as well as, stick, as, as showing their might and dominance, all right? Whereas with the Chinese, they focused on keeping the okay. So they also had the ide the ideology of keeping the, the troops alive. But here's the other big part, all right. They also wanted to strike fear as well, but in a much more subtle way, okay. But let's not talk about the Chinese right now. Let's talk about the Americans. I'm getting off topic here, all right. With that in mind, again, okay, they built the they built the T forty five and eventually the T fifty one and then. With with Fallout Four, the new added law is the the T sixty. Sorry, the T the the T sixty. All right. Now, um, with that in mind, okay, with these literal walking tanks, that could be powered by one man. That they could literally carry a minigun that would take a literal truck to lift, uh, uh, and also carry rocket launchers. All right, and Gatling lasers. All right, into battle as if they were freaking toys. Okay. This was crucial in order to push back the Chinese out of Alaska, okay? And, honestly, it's rather funny. Um, they, so, Palmer, you need special training for it, because the servers and the hydraulics, all right, um, re required soldiers in order to, well, they, they're, 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 they required you to be loose, but firm at the same time, okay? So, you had to be able to move in the armor properly, otherwise, the servers would, would break your bones or whatnot, okay? As the same as with, this gives me a striking, I can see a striking some similarity be, be, um, between the Halo Myomia armor, which is what the Spartan 2s wear, right? And the power armor in Fallout. Because in Halo, and another, another, another topic, right? But um, in Halo, the Spartans had to have their bones strengthened in order to take the strain of wearing armor. Normal humans who did it had their bones that literally snap and break whenever they moved even the slight singe. And you know what happens when bones break? You move. So it was a chamber reaction to where the bones kept breaking and breaking until the person died, okay? Whereas with the Spartans, they were able to wear it and not be destroyed by it. 
but in the fallen universe, it's basically the same principle, okay? People who cannot wield power, who don't have the, the natural aptitude for it, okay? They almost, well, they got injured and they got killed by wearing it, okay? Now, um, here is where I kind of draw the line between, between power armor and the military, okay? The main military was infantry who wore combat armor, which was basically, it was like, that, that's, that, that's, that, that's comparable to flak plate from, from Warhammer, all right? Um, it's smart produced, it's good to use, and it can survive impacts and can save your life, all right? Now, usually it was in a camo green, okay, which is all fine and well, all right? Um, it also had the, um, the circle with the, the white star, which is the American symbol. Because after World War II, I believe, if I'm getting the, if I'm getting the law correct, feel, feel free to correct me, all right? Uh, America cut its states down into 13 commonwealths, okay? Uh, which is all fine and dandy, I, I guess. Now, their flag is 13 stars and, and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. That's all good and dandy, okay? Um, but after China invaded the Alaskas, all right, uh, before that point, America was never really dominated by anything. They had the atomic bomb and they had their manpower and their weapons, okay? And they had their 50s culture, which was a very Reaganic Kind of, well, you know Ronald Reagan. It's a, it, it, it was a very Reagan area, uh, um, area uh, e era. Okay. Uh, so with that in mind, okay, um, they focused more on on infantry, and they were they had manifest destiny. Let's put it like let's put it like let's put it like, let's put, it like put it like that. Okay. Uh, but uh, America's always have always had manifest destiny, and they still have it today. Let's let's be plainly honest here. Okay. Now with that, uh, okay, um. In mind, after the Chinese invaded Alaska because of the resource wars, all right, um, that was a spark needed to ignite the American war machine, just like Pearl Harbor was back in World War Two, um, which then that spark of hatred and 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 the revenge needed to attack the Japanese, uh, um, all right, was what brought brought America into a huge industrialized peak, all right. This was what happened in the fallen universe as well. After World, after World War Two, when the Chinese invaded um, Alaska to, to, to get the last bastions of, of oil, right now what sparked this is a similar thing to what happened between jo um, Japan and of course um, um, and of course America, because Japan had invaded uh, China and they were committing mass rapes and murder. So America said, you know what, fuck that, and they put a freaking oil embargo down on Japan. And Japan was a relatively new war machine. They needed their oil to survive. So in, so in retaliation, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor and that brought the sleeping giant that was our good big daddy freaking America into the war, okay? Now, same thing happened in the fall, in the fall of the universe with the invasion of freaking Alaska um, in order to get the last bastions of, of oil, okay? Now, in, in this universe, um, what happened is America, they basically took over Canada and therefore Alaska and all parts northern, they, they annexed them. In order to keep them safe, if you couldn't get the, the quotations, I'm saying it now. There were quotations with that safe. Okay, now the Chinese had begged for oil because their economy was heavily industrialized. Whereas in this timeline in America, they were atomically powered with, with everything. They, they had fusion cells, they had the radiation kings, which were the TVs that they that that, that had radiation power, whatever. Anyway, um, and China had not evolved this had not evolved to the standard. They were still industrialized in terms of fossil fuels. They needed that. And they were running out. They were literally dry. Bone dry, as in a corpse left in a desert dry. Alright? So with that in mind, alright, they begged America for oil. And the America basically said, fuck you, I'm not going to give you any of my oil. Figure it out for yourself. And this angered China, and they sent their troops into Alaska and invaded. Alright? Now, early on, America w w w was obviously losing and then midway they managed to hold out but then the chinese they 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 made their stealth suits all right um i believe they they um okay the stealth suit people or the stealth suit users were called the crimson dragoons uh, um i know this dragoon something i'm sorry my law on china is not that advanced i haven't played um for uh, i haven't played um the anchorage um, D um dlc in fallout 3 in a while okay so just leave it at that right now with that kept in mind okay um honestly this as i said this ignited 
no, no America's war machine, all right? They they needed a way to push back these communist Chinese scum, okay? Which I say rather liberally because that's exactly how the how the Americans in this timeline view the Chinese, right? So they made a stopgap parama design, all right? They needed a way to push out this, okay? Now, it was a stopgap design, honestly, okay? Because they needed to have it this way, because they needed that armor out. On, uh, they they need they needed that they they they, they needed that, that they, fuck they needed that armor out onto the front immediately okay so they built the T forty five which is stopgap meaning that it it met its oh, it was a means to an end okay it had its flaws its heavy fucking flaws uh, uh, right but here's the kicker I, okay um it managed to push the, the Chinese back and then the and then the T forty one was in, was was introduced all right. Uh, no, the T-51, sorry, I keep getting numbers mixed up here. Um, the T-51 was introduced, and that was the best power armor at the time on the front. Because the T-60 um, wasn't deployed onto onto any war front. That was used more for, for crowd control, right? But, um, with this, they pushed in, they pushed into China, alright? And, so they, so, they, so they pushed the Chinese out of Alaska, alright? They put up a border to talk to... Well, they, and then, well, to, to stop the Chinese from Chrome coming back to Alaska. And then they invaded China, and then when they got to Hong Kong, the Chinese said, oh, no, they're going to kill us, and they fucking nuked everybody. And due to MAD, which is mass, mass assured destruction, or no, it's mutually assured destruction, sorry, um, everyone else got nuked as well. But yeah, that's my little um, law video on the American military. Sorry about my stats. Honestly, it is a going on issue, and I tend to struggle. Struggle. I'm sorry, I tend to struggle saying A's, and I speak too fast. I'll try and speak slow in the next video, which will be my my little video on power up. Okay. So yeah, thank you for watching. I love you all. Enjoy your lives. Peace out, and I hope you enjoy Fallout. Cheers.